Hi everyone, so I'm Sally Hislop from Doncaster at Rivers Trust and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how you can set up a wildlife camera in your garden. So at DCRT we've been using a lot of these recently, um, in fact over the past year to film wildlife on the riverside and we've captured some amazing footage. So we thought this might be quite a nice project for those of you that are stuck at home at the moment and might have a private garden. So the cameras themselves vary a lot in price, some can be up to £200-£300. You can actually get some really cheap ones now that do a lot of what those more expensive ones do. So this is one of the cheapest ones you can get and it retails at about £50. So the cameras work um, that you can open them up usually for these ones and you'll have a screen where you can access a menu to change a lot of the settings. For this one you can do um, photo photos and you can also do film. Um, and that also films at night, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the memory cards can be found in here. So you'll need a 32 gig memory card. So one like that, an SD one. Um, and batteries go in here. And batteries also slot in here. So you've got eight batteries in this one. So you'll need a lot of batteries, but that might keep it going for a couple of months clips on like that once you've set it up all up and had a look at those settings. You can also do things like date signatures and timestamps on which is quite helpful. And then you've got to find your location. So for these cameras, the British wildlife we're capturing really is things like badgers, foxes, hedgehogs. So you actually want to position your camera fairly low. So a site like this would be perfect with a post. And they normally come with a strap. So what you do is you just position it on like that. And you can tighten that up. So that would be perfect. And you can see here that this one's slightly angled down, which is what you want because you want to be looking slightly angled towards the floor where these animals are. And what you can do if you want to get that angle perfect is actually just get a couple of sticks and wedge them behind to get that angle even better. The thing to remember with these cameras is that they have a bit of a field of vision um, so that they can trigger and then take a photo or start filming. So the field of vision is actually quite wide. So to avoid things like false triggers, what you need to do um, is make sure the area is free of branches, things like that that might blow in front of the camera and create false triggers because they're a bit of a pain to go through and they also waste the battery. Um, so that's pretty much it set up. Um, if you do have a go at this and you get any good footage, we'd love to see it. Um, you can also get ones that go into nest boxes and you can even live feed them to your television and things like that. So there's loads of different variants of these. Um, but yeah, hopefully you have some fun with them.